Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's me again. I got a very humiliating story to tell you. Um, it's all about the first time, um, you know that Johnny Depp had that experience with the wife, something happened. And when that happened, he was like, I was already one year and a half into the marriage. And with that action that happened, I started focusing and I saw a bunch of crappy things around me and I realized, damn, I'm in a messed up situation. I think that happens to many men, sadly, at a very late age, and happily, it happened to me at a very young age. Very humiliating. So, you got lady number one, okay? Lady number one was 16, just like me. Same class, went to the same school, bada beam, bada boom. At Curacao, the island where I was born, there was not, there was not like a place that you can go after school. So you had more like a family member where you could go, or your family, your fathers dropped you off, and they will pick you up after you've done your homework. At the same place where my friend went, she's 16, they, another lady went there, a lady number two, she's 12, a smaller girl, and but she was a genius a smaller girl not a big one so going to the same place they were doing their homework and she had a difficulty making the math you know and she had a hard time and and she was nervous because she has to have a get book good grade right uh lady number one the older lady decided hey i can guide you i can teach you bada beam bada boom now understand many times i go to that house because i just wash the car I washed the car so I get some money and on a monthly basis and it was kind of good, it was kind of chill. And I saw things that I was not supposed to see. So when mommy came by one day and picked up the little girl, um, she found out that she got a bad grade anyway. Flakam, 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 flakam. You need to learn, you need to learn, bada beam, bada boom. But that day, the lady that went to the same class as me, the 16, she wasn't there, she didn't know that. So guess what? I went to her. I told her, I says, hey, you, be, you have to be careful what you're teaching this little girl. The more you teach this girl, um, I think you guys have a different way of seeing math. Um, she's going to a high school, but a special one for genius or something. Be careful what you teach her because I think you don't understand her work, okay? Guess what? The day that I'm there, the day that I'm there, because these th places that you stay are it's not a school, it's a family vibe. Everybody happy together. Hey Amen. This lady number one tells the mommy when she comes to pick up the little girl. She explodes. Explodes. Explodes on the inside. On the inside. She was like, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean you to feel guilty. I beat my kids once in a while. It doesn't happen a lot. It's just, I just wanted a good grade. You shouldn't feel guilty of yourself for the beam, bada boom. And then that girl left. Guess what? I was still there. Once we met in the same house, because I need to get my money, for example, so I can go home. She saw me. She came at me, right? And... I didn't understand what they had because whoa, whoa, whoa. Because I was already afraid of her because she's connected between the families and everything. And she always, whenever she's angry, she can push the buttons. Well, she did push the buttons. What the? I was shocked. I was like, what the heck is happening? Yeah, what did you do? Why did you tell her? Now she feels guilty. Now everybody knows that I beat all my kid. I'm like, you're screaming like a monster. Why are you screaming like that and being blaming? Oh, these people are the private people that know of your anger management? That's my facial expression. Why are you looking at me like that? I was like, hey, wait, what? Only my facial expression. All that what I told you about myself, what I look at her, I just looked. But then I looked at my father. Because he was coming to pick me up. He was already there. I was, Papa, what the heck is happening? Now, back in the day, if somebody is slapping you, usually me people might think you deserve it. Because it's either that you were touching somebody, right? Or you graped somebody, or even worse. Because my father thought you are responsible for what you are responsible for. He was very strict. But he was also surprised because like, you're hitting my son because he graped somebody. I didn't expect that from my son. And before I was looking at him and everything, hey, are you going to do something about it? I got the backhand. Hotash! Look at me when I'm talking to you. At the third one, I really wanted to smash this woman. And I went in. Boom. Ready to beat her up. 
While I was going there, the most respected man that, that was in that room that saw me going to do that, I think he predicted that I was going to do that, hit me with something. Look at them! On the floor? No. I, I took it like a man. Ooh, but I took it too good uh, like a man. I didn't fall. So I went behind trying to balance myself and I hit the baby box, fell inside with my legs up like a porn movie. And there was gangster mom looking at me. You're a bad man! How dare you! I'm protecting my daughter! You hit a woman too! And then the most respected man is looking at me. My father is looking at me. Though everybody there is looking at me because nobody dared to cut off a woman that is expressing her pain because that was more important. A woman that beat her daughter because she needs to get a 9 or a 10 compared to the whole family. She can't be ashamed. I tried to tell somebody, don't mess with that lady because this is happening. All the feelings around just connected and blamed me. That was, that's like a chihuahua barking at a pit bull that his mouth shut, his legs tied to his back and they're putting a probe up his butt. How does that make sense? That day, I decided that if I met any woman and we dated, and she told me one thing, and it changed, I will dump you. If I told you a secret of mine, and it changed, I will dump you. Simple. Those things only. It took me a very long time to meet a woman that didn't even consider it normal when angry, it's time to humiliate you. I finally met one a few years later and my wife till now has never humiliated me and there was only one time she challenged me in a way that I actually had to stop her. Baby was born, milk wasn't working, she wanted to feel feminine, it frustrated to her and I suggested something that she didn't agree with and she said this is my baby and she noticed the change in my face, a disappointment, a disgust. She told me a few weeks later, like, I've never seen your face like that. I said, you have no idea how humiliating that is. When I created the most beautiful thing with you, I do everything you want. I take care of you. I go to the gym. I cook and everything. But then at the same time, you got comfortable and you dared to say that? Never say that. She felt so bad for saying that. And she never did it again. Until now, she never humiliated me in general and she never promised something and did something else and say, I never said that. Johnny Depp had to record his wife. I think most men should too. But my point is with the story, you don't realize how much you get humiliated. And once it really happens, you realize how disingenuous this world is for men. And that's all I wanted to say in this story. If you meet ladies inconsistent, if they crack a joke, oh, I will change. For your mental health, dump them. I, I really mean it. Because that is what I'm going to teach my son. Look at mommy. If you can't one like mommy, you can find one. Son, I will never agree with your marriage. Have you guys have, uh, well, have a nice day and let me know if you guys agree. It's all an opinion, right? But hey, I'm enjoying one without that stupidity in my relationship. Plus 17 years, happily married.